how social is social media. Well, we can have a thousand friends that we don't have to see in person. And maybe we don't even really know. Then, after all that, we ordered dinner on Seamless because we're tired from staring at a computer screen and a drone drops off our food before we lie on the couch in front of the TV and go to sleep. It's our daily lifestyle. We will repeat this every day in the modern world and can almost completely avoid any real human interaction. Is this progress? The consequences of this advancement will affect millions of people in the world and many in a very negative way. I will explain some of these ways. Why are driverless cars evolution? Yes, driving can be tiring, but it's also a fun thing to do. Plus, what happens to the millions of drivers in the world? Truck drivers are most likely to use their jobs for computers. Because driving on highways is easier for a computer to do. But there are 3.5 million people working in the checking business. What happens to all of them? Can all these people be retrained? It seems hard to imagine. And maybe this kind of evolution creates a whole new group of people in poverty. Next are the taxi drivers. Maybe driverless um, taxis will be more efficient, but the chance to talk from people all over the world that drive us today is amazing. The same question applies to many cashiers, who will soon see their jobs disappear as robots check us out of the supermarket. Do we want shopping to become like going to the ATM? Because that doesn't sound like fun either. This also applies to the people who deliver our food, our groceries, our mail, our Amazon orders. So maybe we think we don't have to take a drone, but why are our lifestyles supposedly evolving? Only the companies will be doing better by making more money. Then we have social media, or maybe better to be called anti-social media. Like I said, we spend more time on Snapchat, Instagram, uh, Musical.ly, Twitter, Facebook. All that time is taken away from actually having a real conversation with a real human. Look around you every day and see everyone on their, the phone, supposedly interacting with people somewhere else, while you're not talking to the person right beside them. According to research, to be on the internet or social media, triggers your brain to make something called dopamine. What is dopamine? It's basically a pleasure drug. It makes you want to be happy, to have pleasure. From getting information on Google or even getting a text, when you get this pleasure, it makes you want it even more. So you search even more and text. With this technology in the future, it looks like we'll get whole new addictions. Can you imagine a texting anonymous group in the future? It's not that far-fetched, but on top of all of that, it will probably make us even worse at basic communication, never mind writing and spelling, LOL. Yes, technology is important to the world. I don't disagree with that, but, it should, but shouldn't it be for bringing us closer rather than making us a farther apart as humans? The way I see it now, it's doing the exact opposite, and we're not really thinking or caring how will this will hurt us in the future. So what can we do to progress as humans together rather than being more apart? <coughs> a few thoughts we should consider is encourage the government leaders to realize that more unskilled, unemployed workers means more welfare services. Maybe it's better to use that money to keep people employed now rather than to pay them not to work later. How? A higher minimum wage provides safety for people who have fewer jobs to get. Companies pay higher taxes to let the government have more money to offer programs for new unemployed people so that they can get some retraining. The government should help new environment-related businesses to get started. This will create jobs for those who have remained unemployed due to all this new technology. Then, in our phone screen, make actual spelling and writing cool again. How? Phone makers can make their phones more fun to use if people are actually writing properly. Maybe by allowing special emojis for, uh, for good spellers. We all love our technology. I know that. But we have to think how our behavior is changing and what that means for all of us, especially those of us in the jobs that can be replaced by computers. These people may need our help and our imagination. So the next time you take a taxi or you see a truck, 
useful servant, but a dangerous master, like Christian Mouse Link. And I'd like to leave you off on a high